Hi, Carla here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I like to find the fun and magic in everyday things. When it's dark and cold outside, there is nothing better than some warming chai spices. Not only are they delicious, but they are really good for you. I mean, good for body and soul. So join me as I show you how to make a chai honey that you can use in so many ways. It is so good, but it is also good medicine. So come on and let's go have some fun. In this video, I'll be making masala chai spiced honey. And just so you know, Chai simply means tea, so technically any tea could be called chai. However, the flavors that we associate with chai tea are actually masala chai spices. And those spices are what I'll be using to make this delicious powerhouse honey. So when it comes to the ingredients, you can adjust to suit your taste. You can remove an ingredient that you don't like or tolerate well, or you can easily substitute ingredients with a similar taste profile. You can adjust the proportions to make it perfect for you. However, I must say that this recipe as is, is freaking delicious. So here are the ingredients I used and their medicinal benefits. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a lovely aromatic and warming herb good for all sorts of cold conditions. Cinnamon contains large amounts of highly potent polyphenol antioxidants. And studies suggest that cinnamon can also protect against viruses, including the flu or influenza. Coriander is a fragrant antioxidant rich herb which reduces inflammation helps manage anxiety, and promotes digestion and gut health. Cloves is a great source of beta carotene, manganese, which is good for bone health, and potassium. Cloves also promote gut health and better liver function. Cardamom. Besides being an antioxidant, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory, cardamom is great for digestive problems, sore throats, and may improve respiratory health and relieve nausea and vomiting. Ginger helps the body ward off germs and may also keep viruses at bay. Ginger calms nausea and as a carminative, it gets rid of built up gas in the intestines. Black pepper, its active components can boost white blood cells, which the body uses to fight off invading bacteria and viruses. It helps with stuffy noses, sinus infections. And did you know that when you add black pepper to a meal, it helps to increase the amount of nutrients absorbed into your bloodstream? <laughs> yeah, who knew? Star anise is, an, is antibacterial and also contains the chemical shi, I'm gonna mispronounce this, shikimic, shikimic? Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Shikimic acid, which is also used in Tamiflu. That's the prescribed flu treatment you'll get from the doctor, you have the flu. And lastly, nutmeg. Nutmeg is an antioxidant, antibacterial, antidepressant, and it's a great sleep aid. And if that wasn't enough, it can even help with your libido. Isn't it amazing to have all these beneficial ingredients in our spice cabinets? And of course, all of these spices are added to raw honey. Now raw honey, it's high in antioxidants, it's antibacterial, and it's also a powerful prebiotic, which is great for the gut. It relieves sore throats and coughs, helps with sleep. I could go on and on. Honey is a superfood. 
Now, here are my cautions about raw honey. If you have a compromised immune system, or if you're allergic or sensitive to celery, pollen, or have any bee-related allergies, definitely check with your doctor first before consuming raw honey. And also, babies under one year shouldn't have any honey as a protective measure. There are two ways you can make this honey. You can add whole spices to the honey and then infuse it for three to four weeks and then strain. Or you can follow my recipe, which is a quick version using powdered spices. I'll put a link below where you can print out a PDF copy of the full recipe, no worries. I mix all of the dry ingredients together. And then I like to sift the ingredients to make sure the powder is really fine. Now I sifted mine twice because I powdered many of my ingredients from whole spices, which left some larger particles. Then I added my honey. And stirred. That's it. Pour it into a jar and label. It is shelf stable. That's without refrigeration. It's good for about a year. But if you're anything like me, <laughs> it's not going to last nearly that long. So what can we do with this delicious honey? Besides adding it to black tea and your choice of milk for a delicious cup of masala chai, you can add it into warm milk for a nice warm, comforting drink on a cold winter evening. You can pour it over oatmeal, yogurt, or fruit for a yummy breakfast or snack. You can bake with it. You can add it to smoothies. The possibilities are endless. But what if you're not feeling well? Well, you can add it to warm water and gargle with it to soothe a sore throat. Or you can just take a spoonful or so to relieve coughing, like a cough syrup. My personal favorite is to make a whiskey hot toddy. It's like my personal chai NyQuil. <laughs> when I'm feeling icky with a bad cold or flu, it instantly makes me feel better and I go right to sleep. Now, if you want a copy of my recipe for my whiskey NyQuil, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Well, I hope I've shown you how masala chai honey is good for the body and that I've inspired you to make some. Now in part two of this series, I'll show you how it's also good for the soul. You're not gonna wanna miss that one. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know as soon as I upload part two. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.